all right people what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and i'm doing something a little bit different i'm taking a look at ign's game of the year 2020 video uh i just i saw this posted up maybe like 20 minutes ago i was on ign's youtube and i saw it and i was like you know what let's do it and uh i see my boy uh zagreus is there um you also i think that's half a half life alex um on the top left and final fantasy 7 so Oh, but you have the last, uh, you have the Firefly symbol, and uh, I can't tell what that one is right next to Zagreus. Uh, is it Splunky? I think it's Splunky. Uh, and there's a bat with wire around it. Is that, no, that's probably obvious, I'm just not thinking what it is. Is there any air symbols? No, that's it. Wait, there's one for the, the winner, like below the winner? I don't know. Anyway, let's get to it um, and find out what they... They gave it to her. I, I have a feeling that it's going to probably be last. I think the last one, they gave the last of us a 10. I don't know what they gave. They might be giving Half-Life Alex a 10. Um, what did they give Final Fantasy 7? I thought they gave it like an 8.5 or something. I, I'm going to guess it's not going to be anything that's on this thumbnail. That's my guess. Uh, last of Us, potentially. I could see maybe uh, Ghost of Tsushima. What, they, what did they give Ghost of Tsushima? Actually, I don't think critics gave like Ghost, Ghost like huge huge ratings i think it has like 83 on metacritic so again this is one of the critics so i assume they didn't give it a 10 but it, it is also not just whoever reviewed it. it it's everybody at the studio i'm assuming everybody puts a vote in and whatever has the most votes wins for that studio i guess or not studio you know what i mean uh so i'm gonna guess last of us or something else half-life i'll say half-life alex Maybe Hades. I don't know what they gave Hades. Did they review Hades? I'm sure they did. Um, everybody loved Hades, so... Maybe? I don't know. Let's find out! Go! Hades is the latest opus from okay. Indie Hero Super Giant Games, a studio that simply doesn't miss. Wait, is that it? It's it, it, did Hades win? Challenge. Oh, I'm sorry. Is he the not... Wait, these... Adapt the world to your will. And it's our favorite game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. I thought it was good to like do a nominees or something. All right. What were the nominees? Oh, they posted nominees. That's right. I already looked at that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I didn't do a reaction, but I watched it. Haiti. I forgot what was not. Oh, Doom Eternal wasn't nominated. Well, at least we got a hell game. 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 Ah, cheers for that, mate. While the roguelike I'll, I'll, I'll watch the rest of it. Why not? I'll turn it down though, because that's crazy. All right, cool. I mean, I, that makes me want to do like a search to see how many other people gave Hades Game of the Year. I mean, not everybody's doing their awards yet. I'm gonna do my own, not awards, but I'm gonna do my own like top five, top ten, maybe. I, I think top ten. This has been a damn good year, so I have a lot to. I don't even play like I barely played Ghost of Tsushima. I haven't played Last of Us yet, so and I still have a pretty good top ten. I Think. Who you've been spending your time with, your preference, oh, I love Mag. Choice. She's awesome. Dude, the, man, fuck. I, the voice acting in this game is so good. Every time she talks, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Bay? Probably. <sighs> he should have won. I know Laura Bailey's great. I love Laura Bailey. I'm glad she got credit. I haven't played last one. I can't say that. I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm sure she's amazing. I don't know. It's also a dream to play. I wish she would have won. Just even if I love Laura Bailey in that, she she's so great. I know, and she'll have amazing roles in the future. I don't know if Logan Cunningham would. I mean, he he works for. Uh, I think he works for um, Super Giant. He's done the voice of the narrator in, in Transistor and in that game too. He voices the narrator. Hades. I want to play Hades right now. I want to play too many games. I want to watch Dragon Ball Z. I want to play Hades. Like, so Hades never feels entirely insurmountable, even as its challenges ramp up. Dude, the thing I really love about Hades is that when you die, it feels like you're being rewarded because you go back and everybody's talking. Everybody's like has new things to say. You see Dusa doing something, or uh, you talk to Mag. She's talking about how you beat her ass like eight times, or you talk to one of the other uh, Furies, or you talk to Nyx. Hell yeah. They're all there. I didn't even see that part yet. See, like, this so, I'm 20 something hours in. Not that far, honestly. But I love it. I really do. I, I, went, I, went, through, I went through it one time. I'm not very good. But, uh, I beat it once, at least. I wonder how long it takes most people to get through their first run. 
you manage to perfect one, there are countless others. I've seen a lot of people say it takes a long time. Like, I, I've seen some people say, like, they didn't win until, like, 25, 30 hours in. Some people said they beat it, like, five hours in. Which is fair. Like, to be fair, a lot of times I'm experimenting anyway. Um, and there was plenty of times I got to Hades and fucking got so close, but I just ran out of, like, healing um, or, like, extra lives and stuff. how you play during any given escape attempt. You dance between a lot of combinations and genuinely shit. moving conversations with characters you've grown to care about without either element feeling like a sideman. And death, yeah. a disappointing consequence. In so I agree with that, too. Like, they'll, they'll mention things that you they mentioned earlier, too. With friendly faces like, I, I thought most of their, like, dialogue would just be, like, flavor. Just like, eh, they're saying stuff. Hey, hey, Zad, my man. You know, like, I love him. Um, dude, I would love to see a, a Hades anime. Dude, do it! Do, Castlevania guys, come on. Yeah, let's go. Hey, there's that. There we go. That's the one I was thinking of. Dionysus. I think that's. I love that guy's voice acting. So good. Hey, Zag boy. <laughs> hey, Zag man. How you going? Zag man. Uh, and I see some people criticizing Zag as like an an edgy emo kid. I don't agree. I think he's great. I think he's one of my favorite characters this year. Uh, I like that he's just he he he. he I love that he's down with everybody in in uh, Hades, um, but Hades himself. <laughs> he just doesn't like his dad for good reason. You learn why, and it's totally on. It, like, it makes sense. And, and maybe he's a little spoiled, sure, a little bit, but he's a cool character. I like him. Anyway, yes, I did brush my hair. Um, anyway, uh, okay, cool. IGN, you did something right. Did something right. Good job. Anyway, there you go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.